Bob Richards is joining us now for a look at the weekend box office, and I dare say that you really enjoyed yourself at the theaters this weekend. It was weekend. not a bad weekend for a change. You were really busy, too. I was very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was another winning weekend for a Disney princess. Brave was the 13th consecutive number one movie for Pixar as it took in $66.7 million, bumping Madagascar 3 to second place. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter was third, and the week's other new release, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, was 10th uh, with a disappointing $3.8 million. Moonrise Kingdom, now at the flicks, is told in Wes Anderson's signature quirky style and takes place on an island in 1964. Filmed in warm colors reminiscent of an 8mm home movie, this very entertaining, charming, and brilliant film is Anderson's best and most accessible yet. It's nothing short of wonderful each and every second of its 94-minute runtime. I loved this movie. It was a rare time I spent in movie heaven. Over the moon and hail to the king, five stars out of five. Steve Carell and Kira Knightley have never been better in Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. It's funny, thought-provoking, and downright touching. But watch out for the decidedly non-Hollywood ending. You might just find that this movie is a friend that you want to spend a lot of time with. Four and a half stars out of five. Headhunters, now at the flicks, has a great plot full of twists and turns, loads of action, and a few laughs. I was thoroughly entertained by this Norwegian crime caper. Put your head into it. Four stars out of five. Brave is a somewhat conventional Disney movie about a princess, but this was made by Pixar. This isn't quite equal to Pixar's best, but it is entertaining, exciting, and at times touching. It's beautifully done with the feisty main character's gloriously animated, gorgeous mane of red hair. It's so realistic, her hair took my breath away more than once. While they didn't quite hit the bullseye of previous Pixar films, I was captivated by Brave. Four stars out of five. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter sounds like it should be a ton of fun. It isn't. If you're going to make a film with a concept like that, you need to go all out. Oddly, it seems to hold back. Star Benjamin Walker looks more like a young Liam Neeson than Abe Lincoln. And I had a problem with the fact that these vampires can wander around in sunlight. It's disarming to see Lincoln swinging an axe, chopping heads off of vampires. And what really took me out of it was the Battle of Gettysburg, fought by vampires. Isn't that sacrilegious? I can see a whole series of these films. Benjamin Harrison, Alien Exterminator, Teddy Roosevelt, Mummy Hunter, JFK, Werewolf Womanizer. Oh wait, I think that last one really was true. Three stars out of five. For my reviews, a look at this week's DVD and Blu-ray releases and more, head over to my website, BobRichardsMovieReviews.com, or link to it at KIVITV.com. And for those who don't notice, typically your reviews are in, done in descending order with the best ones first. I was a little surprised to see how far brave, how far down Brave was. Even though it was until, four stars. <laughs> until I saw there was a five star and a couple four and a half in front of it. So really good weekend. It wasn't a bad weekend there. at all. All right, and got some, uh, some movies coming up this coming weekend that I know Tamara will be really oh, excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs>